I'm Helen, the Chief Executive of Literature Works. We're the Regional Literature Development Agency for South West England and we're all about creating partnerships and projects that help develop writers and support writers and that help develop readers and support readers. We work a lot with libraries and Word on Tour is our 26 date live literature tour of libraries around South West England. Tonight I'm going to be reading from um, my last book which is called The World's Two Smallest Humans and I will also be reading a few new poems. I'll be reading from my last novel, A Place Called Winter, which is available and I'm going to be giving a sneak preview of my new novel which isn't available for another month. How much less complex life would be without this feverish dance between the wanter and the wanted. Arriving at the small station in Strawberry Hill felt like visiting the country. There were trees, birdsong, hardly any traffic. When I was growing up, um, our local lending library, which was in a little van, used to come around twice a week. They always took requests because it was so small. So even as a child, I had this librarian saying, what do you want to read next? Which made me think about books and what book I wanted next. And magically, it would appear. And after that, when we moved to a bigger city, the library was like my unofficial childminder. My mother would just leave me there while she went to do the shopping. And it was an, a fantastic influence. I've often tried to write frightening or evil characters before, and I've always made the mistake of going inside their heads. And once I go inside their heads, I understand them, and I forgive them all a bit, and they become less less frightening. Libraries mean two things to me. So when I was little, um, we were given a ticket which allowed us, I think, only four books to take out. And, but that limit was quite exciting because I'd read those four books so that I'd be allowed to go back and, and choose more. But also in my early 20s, the public library in Southampton became a sort of second office to me. Um, and I wrote a lot of poems there um, that eventually made it into my first published collection. Libraries are crucial and one of the things I love about this Word on Tour initiative is that it doesn't just celebrate writers in the southwest but I hope it's also reminding communities where their local libraries are because certainly where I live in Cornwall our libraries are, are rapidly closing and Word on Tour going into Cornwall the way it has has woken people up to the fact they have this precious resource on their doorstep and they need to fight to keep it open.